Hello everyone, welcome to the second problem of first experiment of level on term to software course. So in this uh, problem we have nothing new to learn. So we will so we'll straight go to the problem and solve it. So let's have a look at the circuit. So this is the circuit. We will first draw it and do the transient analysis. So we need a V sign, a T close or SWT close, a resistor and a capacitor. So let's go to schematic and get them. V sign SWT close a register and a capacitor. <coughs> Control R to rotate it and put it here. Then I'll draw the wires. I will also need a ground earth here, so I will just get a ground earth here and put it here. Now I'll I will double click the V sign and put VOF to be 0, save attribute, v, v amplitude will be 300, save attribute and frequency will be 50 Hz and save it and say ok. And resistors value will be 100 ohm. So 100 and capacitance will be 47 microfarad. Now there are two things to remember the time period and the time constant. Here frequency is 50 hertz to time so time period is 20 millisecond. So if we want three or more cycles we need to have the final time to be around 60 millisecond. Again the time constant is R into C. So here it is 4.7 millisecond 4.7 uh, millisecond yes so the final time must be greater than 5 into time constant which, which is around 25 millisecond so if we put final time to be 60 millisecond everything or every point will be covered so I will go here to transient analysis and put the final time to be 60 millisecond and print step will be 10 microsecond and say OK and say close. Now I will just put the node names here. This will be first node, this will be second node, this will be the third node. Now I will simulate this one. Schematic 4, just save it. And the simulation is being done. So here we go. Now let's have a look at the task. We need to plot VC versus T and I versus T. Here VC means V3. So I will plot V3 here and say OK and then I will plot the current also uh, which is here and say OK. So that we can't actually sh see the shape of the current so I will just uh, multiply it to some amount for instance 50 and here we go. I will also plot V1 which is the voltage of the circuit's voltage source to actually see the actual contribution of transient response. So I will plot V1 here and here we go. Now we, we can see for capacitive voltage which is V3 the initial shape here and the shape in the rest part does not match. This is due to the transient response of the circuit. Due to it in the initial phase the shape was something else and in the later part as the transient response was gone the shape was something else. So this is the, uh, this is the effect of the transient response. So this is all about the second problem. I hope I am clear to you all. So this is all.